Good morning. Uh, I'm Peter Francescat from the Field of Engineering, Ford Motor Company. What we have here is our all new uh, 6.7 liter diesel engine. It's uh, designed, built, and uh, manufactured at Ford. It's uh, rated right now at uh, 390 horsepower and uh, 735 uh, foot pounds of torque. Uh, when you look around, um, you can see our uh, high pressure uh, fuel system rail. It's uh, running at 30,000 uh, psi. We have our turbocharger, which is uh, within the valley. Uh, it makes for a very compact and efficient design. And uh, it also has uh, uh, two compressor wheels uh, to help us with uh, spool down uh, at the vehicle level with respect to uh, drivability. In addition, uh, we have uh, uh, C2, what we call uh, basically a uh, number two uh, SAE uh, round uh, flange that's uh, mating up to our six-speed transmission. Uh, our new transmission is uh, designed as well internally at Ford. And uh, this is the first application that we're uh, basically uh, using this uh, six-speed transmission. It has a uh, long travel, uh, high capacity uh, turbo, a turbine uh, damper, and uh, all new converter uh, to help us with uh, fuel economy and uh, also handle the uh, load of the uh, new powertrain. In addition, uh, we have a cutaway here of our after treatment. And uh, what we're doing here is using a uh, diesel oxidation uh, catalyst. You can get a nice uh, view of it over here. And uh, thereafter, we have our, what we call our diesel exhaust fluid uh, uh, dosing meter that uh, is uh, seen here in this cutaway section. And uh, this is here to get a better mixture and a uh, better distribution of the uh, dosing as it occurs through and uh, gets through our uh, particulate filter and um, our uh, select catalyst reduction uh, unit here that makes up for our after treatment. The diesel is uh, able to meet the same emission standards as the gas for 2011. Um, and. Um, we're really uh, happy to have this product on the road. It's able uh, to actually uh, pull uh, our pickup uh, trailer ratings up to uh, 24,400 uh, pounds on a 450 pickup and uh, 21,600 pounds on our uh, 350 dually uh, pickup. From here, from looking at it from this side, you can see the uh, inboard exhaust uh, architecture and um, a better view of the uh, actual uh, turbocharger in this uh, valley area. And uh, we're able to basically run uh, everything from inside the V, which is uh, unique and makes for a, a very compact uh, design. Could you talk a little bit about the EGR aftercore? Yeah, but we have an EGR uh, system on uh, the engine to help us with the uh, emissions and uh, it basically uh, is plumbed into our uh, cooling system in the front which has uh, a low and a high temp uh, cooling loop um, and uh, this has to be managed very well in order to meet the emissions uh, requirements and also uh, ensure that uh, you get uh, optimal fuel economy for your vehicle. With this new engine we're able to improve our lineup um, uh, in terms of uh, fuel economy by 18% over job last. Uh, that's also a, uh, with the help of the six-speed transmission. Uh, we've paid a lot of attention to uh, the gearing of this transmission. Our first uh, gear ratio uh, has uh, uh, basically uh, been designed to improve for launch uh, performance feel and uh, it complements very well the uh, dual uh, compressor wheel design of the turbo to minimize uh, the turbo lag and uh, uh, improve our overall launch feel. Uh, in addition, um, with uh, this amount of uh, horsepower and torque uh, of this new diesel engine, we're able to optimize our uh, final drive ratios 
and uh, currently uh, on the uh, pickup side, the single uh, rear wheel pickups, we're running a 3.1 uh, axle ratio uh, as a base and a 3.5 as uh, on the high end uh, are the two axle ratios we have on the single rear wheel uh, application.